Mrs. Markham. Hold your horses. Hello. Who are you and what do you want? We want to talk to you about Vince McKinnon. Mrs. Markham, we have to talk to you. We're please. not going away. If you don't, I'm calling the police. You let us in, or maybe we'll be the ones who call the police. I have no idea what you're talking about. You think you do, Mrs. Markham? Please try to remember. Vince McKinnon was walking his dog that night. How am I supposed to tell one night from another? Pops usually doesn't walk from Prometheus until after 11. That's right. Who's Pops? Vince McKinnon. I don't know any Vince McKinnon. You have to know him. I don't have to at all. Don't you recognize me? I don't know. Now, don't say you've never seen her before. I walk to the bus stop every day right past your door. So you're one of the neighborhood kids. And Vince McKinnon is her father, yes. So what? So you saw him. Look, let's start this thing over. We got your name from Mrs. Lawrence. She lives down the street. With her cat. Right. Lawrence, I know. Good, because a man's life is at stake here. I have nothing to do with that. What are you afraid of? Are you trying to hide something? I think you better leave. We meant it when we said we'd call the police. Cheryl's sister is a cop, remember? I've never done anything wrong. Neither has my pop. I mind my own business, miss. This has nothing to do with people minding their own business. It's about a stabbing, attempted murder. And we need your help to help prove that my pop, Vince McKinnon, is innocent. Like I said, my husband and I pretty much stick to ourselves. That's not what we hear. What? I've seen you dozens of times at the supermarket, Blazes. I'm sorry, and Miss. I... I'm sure that you've seen my sisters. One of them is a police officer, you remember? Where'd you get my name again? From Mrs. Lawrence. The lady with the cat. She called and told us about you. What about me? Cheryl's father was walking his dog on a night when people think he was someplace else. And we need to find someone who saw him. We need a witness who'll testify that Vince's alibi is the truth. I, I can't testify to anything. I, I don't know anything. I'm not buying that at all, Mrs. Markham. A man with a dog. I... Vince McKinnon? He wears a dark blue parka and a cap? I don't know him for the last time. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the story, Mrs. Markham. We understand that a friend of yours... A man comes by your house every night about the same time. Uh, my, my brother. What? <laughs> uh, we, we have a sick mother. My brother drops by after he visits her at the hospital. Ah, uh, that's not what we were told. This is definitely not your brother, Mrs. Markham. You're wrong. I, I, I have a husband. We've been married for years. Happily married. I'm a devoted wife. I'd no more think of taking a lover. I have Tootsie, how's my lover? Hiya, kids. <laughs> yeah, you never told me you had kids. Uh, we're not. We were waiting for you. Oh, uh, why? Uh, they've been asking all kinds of questions. They, they forced their way in here. Questions? What sort of questions? Personal ones. Why don't we all sit down, huh? Who are you? I'm Scott LaSalle. This is Cheryl McKinnon. Did, uh, did my wife put you up to this? Why? Is she paying you to sneak around and spy on me? You didn't tell me you had a wife. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take care of her, all right? Look, your love life doesn't interest us. What we need are eyewitnesses. Somebody gave Vince McKinnon a ride to the bus stop that night. I think it might have been you. All right, if you don't get out of here, I'll throw you out. Let's cut the macho stuff, okay? Now, you guys give us a sworn statement that you'll testify for Vince McKinnon, and we'll be quiet about the two of you. I'm warning you. If we testify, everybody will know about us. We're not stupid, we you know. We can have it arranged so they'll know anyway. Oh, please, no. That's it, you're out of here. Just please, let's just leave her alone so they can think about it. I'm not giving her a divorce. She thinks she's gonna bleed me out all my money. She's crazy. Go ahead, tell her. We'll come back. Get up! Oh, please. Okay, but we'll be back. You can count on it. Join us each weekday 
for the continuing story of another world.